Alright guys, this is your host, Classic Plastic 918, and I'm back with another unboxing video. This one came directly from Super Plastic themselves, so we're going to see what a delivery coming directly from the source, Super Plastic, is going to look like compared to what you get from a... Um, retailer or reseller of their products so without further ado let's cut into this rather large box and see what we've got inside looks pretty good so far so far so good um, seems like a pretty big big box for a single 8 inch super janky but um, when it comes to packing um, and shipping uh, more is better uh, because that means that there's more packing material to protect the uh, the box and the super janky. So we want to make sure that it, everything came in safe and sound. Um, looks like they've just used uh, packing paper around it. Um, don't see any packing peanuts, no styrofoam, um, which is good. I mean, if you're environmentally conscious... Um, you definitely want to reduce the amount of styrofoam that you use. So um, I try to recycle it and, you know, reuse it as many times as possible before it goes into the trash or the waste bin because I'm all about helping the environment. So, um, so far everything looks good. I can see something down there in the bottom of the box, some kind of super janky, but I'm not sure which one this is yet. So... We're going to keep the mystery going for just a little bit as I pull off the brown packing paper. So hang on one second. And here's a nice touch. I pulled off the uh, packing paper and it looks like there's a coupon inside the box with a code for 10% off your next order, but it expires in 30 days. Ha ha ha. Um, so... If you guys want to order something from Super Plastic, uh, definitely you've got that 10% off code that you can use. You can see it right there on the screen. Um, it should probably still be good. Um, so yeah, I don't think that there's anything that they've got coming out anytime soon that I'm going to order. So if you guys want to use that code, um, go ahead. I'm pretty much caught up on everything that I could possibly want from Super Plastic right now. And I don't think they have any new releases coming out um, that I haven't already pre-ordered. So, But definitely you guys get on that if that's something that you're interested in. Get yourself 10% off your next order. It would be awesome. And you can see on the back side of that... Uh, little placard there it's kind of neat it's got like a little uh, super janky uh, or super plastic janky uh, logo on there so that'll be a nice little uh, keepsake to add to my collection of uh, super plastic stuff okay so my praise for their packing methods may have been a little bit premature um, it just looks like there was just packing paper in the uh, actual box itself for the uh, super plastic uh, figurine it's just in one corner of the box surrounded by the paper so didn't really uh, pack it the way I would have done it I would have made sure that you know the uh, box itself was somewhat isolated from uh, any kind of corner damage in case you know the box got dropped or thrown or anything like that uh, because you know fortunately it didn't but if you know the box had gotten dropped or crushed on that one side it would have destroyed the uh, the content so just something to think about super plastic you know get your packing people to do a little bit better job judiciously packing their uh, the products but with that being said um, so it's got the tissue paper on there so I guess that tissue paper is something that comes directly from super plastic um, I've wondered about that in other videos. And um, yeah, so maybe that's just how they come from uh, the manufacturer. You know, they got that 
tissue paper wrapping around it so that's kind of cool protects the integrity of the box keeps it looking clean hopefully and um, it's a pinkish box so who can guess what super janky figurine this is or is it even a janky who knows who knows leave your comments below we'll see which uh, figurine this is and there you go it's a uh, Pete Fowler design so that gives you a little bit of a hint as to what character it's going to be Pete Fowler is actually one of my favorite artists uh, when it comes to designing these uh, toys so um, definitely excited to see what's on the inside of this box I can't don't know if you can see or not but there's a blue dot there so whatever it is it's gonna be have some kind of blue uh, colorway to it so let's take this tissue paper off and get a good look at the box see what we've got inside one more tease before we open the box it says yeah on the top of the box so um, if you already have this uh, particular figurine you already know what it is but um, if you don't then this should be a little bit more of a tease because um, it doesn't really say it's inside the box so let's find out give me one second wow there it is it's hinch so it's not actually a janky it's actually a hinch figure which uh, if you collected any of the uh, the max cash figures uh, hinch is one of his henchmen I guess or a member of his band and um, this one looks like he's got a uh, varsity jacket on there and let's see what the other side looks like so there is one that has the uh, urban camo uh, print outfit on as well so I'm not as familiar with the hinge figures, so I'm not sure which one is going to be inside the box. So I guess we're going to have to open it up and take a look and see. So give me one moment here. So they've got some kind of interesting, uh, interesting factoids about hinge on the uh, inner flap of the uh, the box. Hadn't noticed that before on any of the other. Uh, janky items that I've opened I don't even know if they have that on there um, this is the first one I've seen um, which is kind of cool because it makes the box a little bit more interesting um, so just wanted to kind of point that out uh, maybe we'll have to go back and look at some of the other boxes to see if they have any uh, similar types of uh, dialogue written on the inside flap but I thought that was kind of a nice touch and there you can see the uh, the bottom of the uh, figurine and looks like something interesting is going on with the actual colorway so let's see what color this one actually is wow so believe it or not it's actually the glow-in-the-dark hazmat uh, version of the hinge uh, figurine and um, pretty cool actually I was not expecting this to be the one that uh, they had in the box but as you can see that's who he is and he's even got these really nicely done uh, silver teeth if you can see that wow they actually are uh, pretty shiny there so I'm gonna open this bad boy up and see if we can maybe get him to glow a little bit hang on Wow yeah that is really outstanding um, great great looking uh, character great attention to detail um, yeah the teeth are awesome look at that he's got those shiny he's got kind of that shiny grill going on and he's got the glow-in-the-dark hazmat suit lots of attention to detail really really cool figurine 
and I can't remember exactly how tall these are, but I think they're a little bit taller than the uh, the typical super janky figurines are. So really nicely done. Really, really good looking uh, art toy there. And there's the back side, and you can see he's got the uh, site cleanup jacket, which is kind of cool. Nice detail there. And um, simple design. Um, I mean, overall, as far as characters go, it's not very complicated. But I think it's actually really well done. Um, it almost looks like he has eyes in the back of his head there, if you kind of look at it at an angle. But yeah, just overall, really well done uh, character. And I think that Pete Fowler, as usual, knocked out of the park with this one. Um, good looking figure, definitely. And there he is, guys. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the uh, Hinch It's Me uh, character, whether you like him or whatever you think. Um, do you think this is going to be as popular as some of the other glow-in-the-dark characters that uh, Super Plastic has come out with? Um, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, the attention to detail is great. And um, definitely the, uh, the teeth are one of my favorite parts. And he's got something on his hat, some kind of logo. Let's see if we can zoom in and see what that is. I'm not even sure what that is. It looks like maybe it's like a dead fish or something. I'm not sure, but and he's got that, and then he's got those teeth. So definitely a cool character. All right. Well, once again, guys, I appreciate you tuning into the video. I hope you like that unboxing. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you at the next one.